Well, good morning, East Texas here. We've contacted our friends over at NASA. We're taking a look here. They are flying over major hurricane Nicole now and the International Space Station. And you can see this system here looking down directly from space here. And there is the eye wall of major hurricane Nicole. This thing is humongous. It's a large cyclone and it is making its way towards the island of Bermuda now causing some devastating effects. In fact, we're going to go ahead and switch over and take a look at things on our satellite perspective and you'll be able to see this here. This is our enhanced satellite picture here and you can see this system here now. There's Bermuda. There's the eye of the storm. So you can see the large larger of impacts of the system already making its way on the island, but there's the large eye wall now approaching near or just to the south of Bermuda, but you can see the eye wall is actually larger than the actual island of Bermuda. So this thing is going to cause some devastating effects here. Check out the latest stats on Nicole. Category 4 storm now, winds of 130 miles per hour, moving north-northeast at around 15 miles per hour. Now, for us, thankfully, we don't have to worry about Nicole, but send our prayers to our friends over in Bermuda. But for the afternoon, we're tracking just a few light showers as clouds increase across the area. Near Orr City, stretching up towards Heath Springs, these will travel towards the 59 corridor over in the Cass and Marion County, but that's really about it. As as the cold front works its way south later on today, it'll interact with more humidity, so we could see more chances of rainfall across central and southern sections, but these will be a few scattered showers. Now, this upper level disturbance you see off the, near the four corners, that will impact us as we head over the next 24 hours. So the front moves south, scattered showers possible mainly across central and southern sections in the deep east Texas this afternoon. But then as we head towards tonight, that front will begin to lift back to the north as a warm front. We'll see that upper level disturbance moving in from the west and we'll see waves of scattered showers and thunderstorms even heading into overnight tonight and the first half of your Friday. And I think most of us will see at least some rain as that occurs and then as that front lifts north, the rain chances will decrease across the area. So clouds, just a few scattered showers as we progress throughout our Thursday. We'll go from the upper 60s into the lower 80s. Notice the wind switch from the south to out of the north. But then we'll see that better rain chance arriving late Thursday into Friday as that warm front lifts back north. We could see some potentially heavy rain in spots. And then after that clears out of here, the weekend we dry things out, but we heat them up with those winds switching back out of the south. The good